What's going on guys, my name is Hypnostic and welcome to a brand new MWZ video. For those of you who don't know, I make daily zombies videos and if you enjoy watching zombies videos then be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video. So someone by the name of Bro Chacho, great name by the way, <laughs> suggested an assault rifle from Modern Warfare 2, the M13B. I think the last time we used the M13B was early on in season 1 so I thought it's about time to check this thing out again. Before we get into the build I'm using for the M13B, I just quickly want to take a moment to thank U4GM for sponsoring this video. U4GM is a safe, trusted, and reliable Call of Duty service provider and they'll help you unlock all the rare schematics and zombies, all the camos, and they offer a lot of other services. If you guys are interested in this, then click the link in the description below and be sure to use my code HIP for an extra 5% off. So as suggested by Bro Chacho, we're using the Bruin R90 factory stock for increased sprint speed, the 14 inch Bruin echelon barrel for an increased tower effective damage range and a bit of recoil control, the VT7 spared fire suppressor for a slight increased tower effective damage range and recoil control as well, 5.56 NATO high grain ammunition for a slight increased tower damage output, and last but not least we're using the 60 round mag. Thank you again to Bro Chacho for the suggestion and build, if you guys have any other suggestions for weapons you'd like to see me check out then be sure to drop a comment below. Now that we covered the build I'm using for the M13B it's time to make our way into the tier 3 zone and the dark ether to see how it performs so i'll see you all there and we made it to the tier 3 zone as you can oh my lag spike Jeez. yeah servers have been all over the place today man what is this right now all right hopefully things end up running smoothly but we'll see we'll see this is actually the third time i've tried to record this video man I don't know what's up with the servers today. It's just these random lag spikes. However, we do. Oh my god, bro. We do have this bounty contract right here. Well, let's see what target it gives us. And we got a disciple. Okay, nice. I'll see you guys once I'm there. Hopefully the lag ends up stopping, but we'll see. We'll see. All right, nice disciples right there. Start hitting a few shots on him. Did a fair amount of damage already. We haven't even broken his armor yet. There we go. Now we broke his armor. Perfect. So we can actually start doing some critical damage to him. Oh my god. Dude, these lag spikes. <laughs> this, is, this is turning into a challenge video, I swear. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <Where>? <laughs> oh. My ether blade didn't even throw, dude. <laughs> oh man. All right. Now we can do some big critical damage on him. Let's go. Disciple's about halfway dead. Let's throw another blade. Beautiful. He's got about a quarter of his health bar left. And just a few more shots. We'll have to try to hit his arm. There we go. Set those extra criticals. And there we go. Got the kill. Quick and easy. Got an extra self revive off that. An epic tool. Uh, I think I'll leave that in there. That's all good. That's all good. Um, so the goal is to try to get a dark ether sigil and to fill up our bag with schematics completely and then i'll do another giveaway um so there's no bounty contract anywhere all right i'll quickly go hit the wonder fizz get a few perks and hopefully by then a bounty contract does spawn in got this little disciple right here i mean just look at that man this thing gets a solid 9 on 10 already damage output is just insane you're super mobile with it too oh my god man what is this Ooh, there we go bounty contract just spawned in next to us definitely gonna go grab that hopefully we get a mega abomination this time lag seems to have fixed itself as well which is good so we'll see we'll see servers do seem to be a bit weird today um quickly drop those emergency rations <laughs> and we got a mega zard target let's go we'll quickly go pick up those players though i'm pretty sure everyone's lagging right now seems to be the server so uh yeah i'll go help them out real quick although never mind they're good they're good let's go there we go start hitting a few shots on the mega nice should be able to trigger laser attacks from up here no come on mega turn around dude come on just turn around Oh, all right, we fell down. It's all good. Oh, hell no. Lag is definitely not gone. <laughs> Let's get some distance here. There's a few zombies. Okay, we should be good. We should be good. Let's hit some more criticals on him. Come on. Hit us with that laser attack. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a challenge video at this point. <laughs> oh my god. 
<laughs> Boys, drop a comment below if you guys are having lag today too, or if it's just me. I don't know, two of my homies are having lag too, so... Seems to be the Call of Duty servers once again. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> there we go, let's land here. Start hitting those criticals, nice, already took off one of his faces. Perfect, another laser attack's coming in. Let's hit those crit- yeah man, we are just eating into his health bar. Look at that. This thing is feeling good. There we go. It's gonna be the final laser attack we need. Let's get those criticals in. Uh, we might actually need one more. Yeah, one more laser attack. There we go. And we got the kill. Quick and easy. Let's quickly use that on our Scorcher. There we go. All right, let's see what he dropped for us. An extra large bag, a sigil. Hold on, I'll have to quickly take out that zombie. There we go. Um, and Juggernaut, I'll definitely equip that. And a raw crystal. So, already used one of those. Definitely don't need it. There's another bounty contract back there. So, I'll quickly go pick that up. Yeah, those guys are pleading for help again. So, it's definitely the servers, man. Definitely the servers. All right, let's go pick those boys up real quick if we can. Hopefully, I don't end up going down trying to rescue them. And there's another guy pleading back there. Oh my god, man. Hypnostic the medic. Let's go. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, this ain't good. Okay, there we go. Getting the revive off. Nice. Okay, we got one guy up. Beautiful. Let me try to get this guy up as well. Have to use our blade while reviving. There we go. Perfect. And that guy's gonna pick up his homie. Nice. Alright, I'll go pick up that contract now. <laughs> Did a bit of medic work right there. Definitely feel good about that. Alright, let's see what target we get off this contract. And it's a mangler. Okay, nice. Where's he gonna be? Way back there. Okay, I'll see you guys once and by the mangler. And uh, we'll probably do a few more contracts here, depending how it goes with the lag. And then we'll head over to the Dark Aether. Okay, you just uh, died instantly. And we got ray gun plans off that. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Um, I think I will drop the self-revive. I don't know, that might not be a smart idea since we're lagging so much. I mean, as long as we don't go down due to lag, we should be fine. We should be fine. So far, we're surviving, though, which is a, uh, it's a good sign. <laughs> Dude, if I'd be using the Lockwood MK2, though, I'd be pleading for help by now. <laughs> and there we go. We got a Mega. That guy's pleading again. Okay, he's being picked up, though, so we're good. We're good. All right, I'll make my way over to that Mega and uh, see how quickly we can take that guy out. And there we go. Mega Abomination's right behind us. Start hitting a few shots on him. Come on, Mega. Hit us with that laser attack. Come on. Ooh. Did a nice amount of critical damage right there. There we go. Laser attack's coming in. One face destroyed already. Set those criticals on that second face right there. Oh my. Oh my god. <laughs> the lag is unreal right now, dude. <laughs> there we go. Got another laser attack, though. Set those criticals. Nice. Did we just take off? Yeah, two faces gone. One face to go. Let's go. All right. Uh climb through here. Dude, I have to play so much more careful with all this lag. There we go. Let's get those criticals in. Beautiful laser attacks coming in as well, so we should be able to get the kill here. And there we go, got the kill. Quick and easy. And that second mega is about to kill us. Ugh, ugh. And we survived. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> got some ammo as well. Nice. And he dropped a three plate for us. Not bad, not bad. All right, all right, Mega. Let's quickly come over to this side. There we go. Check our rewards. We got a normal sigil. Um, I think I'll drop that bag. Should be good. Should be good. All right, let's take this guy out. I think after we kill this Mega, I'll make my way over to the Dark Ether, and uh, I don't know. I'll try to play again tonight to get another video recorded. But if this continues, I'll just I'll just chill until tomorrow, I guess. Because this is, this is kind of painful. But we can at least see how this thing performs. I mean, we're just ripping through everything. And uh, the whole lag issue at the moment isn't making the game easier. So, yeah, definitely a solid weapon. Let's keep focusing on that Mega. There we go. Final face. Should be able to get the kill off this laser attack. And there we go. Got the kill. Awake and easy. Let's go. All right, nothing too fancy off him. 
All right, we will have to, hmm. Not sure I'm gonna do that because of the ether extractor contract, we'll still have to end up dropping something. So I guess I'll drop a sigil since I want to give away all these schematics to you guys. By the way, go follow me on Twitter. That's at HypnosticYT. That's where I do all the schematic giveaways. And uh, yeah, I'd appreciate it if you guys go follow. Well, I mean, there is that bounty contract right next to the portal, so I guess we could do that real quick, right? Let's go get that contract done. And there we go, got the contract. Let's see what target it gives us. And it's a disciple. Nice. Easy contract right there. Oh, he's pretty close to the portal, too. Let's go. All right, disciples on the roof up there. Um, let's see if we can get his attention. There we go. There we go. All right, let's hit his arm. Nice. Let's see if we can break his armor. There we go. Now we can start doing some critical damage to him. Nice. Start our blade whenever that gets back. Oh my god. Hold up. There we go. That lag spike almost got us down. Nice. Took off about a quarter of his health bar almost. There we go. Definitely took off a quarter now. Let's take some of these normal zombies out. There we go. Nice. Time to focus on the- oh my god, dude. Yeah, this is gonna be rough, man. <laughs> Especially depending on the bounty target we get in the Dark Aether. I mean, if it's the uh, Mimic, where you have like a hundred zombies to take out, I, I don't know, man. We might have to end up popping the Juggernaut. But yeah, hopefully everything goes fine. There we go. Contract complete. Let's see what we got off of this one. And oh my god, man. There we go. Napalm, I will definitely take. All right, so no more bounty contracts in the tier three zone. I'll make my way over to the portal. Yeah, the tier three zone also isn't contested. It's looking like everyone's staying in the outer zones. That's probably because of all the lag. Completely understandable. But anyways, we made it to the portal. Let's try to use our sigil. There we go. Accept that teleport and I'll see you all in the dark ether. And there we go, boys. We made it to the Dark Aether. Now, once you spawn in, just turn around and run into this warehouse building back here. Just keep running in this direction, and then you can climb up this container. Break this glass here, and this is where you find the first contract. That's going to be the bounty contract, and we got a Mega as our target. Definitely prefer the Mega over the Mimic, especially with all this lag. I think the Mega is going to be a bit easier. So he usually spawns back there at C8 over in the foggy area. So I'll see you guys once I'm there and I'll show you my strategy. Oh my god, <laughs> we're taking that guy out. All right, Mega Abomination's right there. Come on, Mega, hit us with a laser. No, you want to. Come on, do it. Do it. Hit us with the laser attack, Mega. Come on. Let's come back here. There we go, laser attacks coming in. Let's see if we can hit a few criticals. Nice, took off one of the Mega's faces already. Beautiful, there we go. So basically, what you want to do is lure the Mega over to this parking area back here. And uh, from here, there's actually a few rooftops you can climb up. Each of them has this uh, ladder. So just make your way up to a rooftop and that's gonna trigger the Mega's laser attack. So let's just quickly come up here. It's a bit close. We'll have a bunch of zombies coming up, so let's quickly take care of them. But that's fine. They'll deliver ammo for you. That's a good part. <laughs> there we go. Laser attack is coming in. Let's see if we can hit those criticals. Ooh, we'll have to back up a little bit here. Nice. Focus on the mega again. Another laser attack is coming in. Let's focus on that face. There we go. Two faces destroyed. Smooth sailing so far. Another laser attack is coming in. And... We should. Nah, we'll need one more. Just one more, Mega. Come on. Hit us with it. There we go. Perfect. Should be able to get the kill here. And there we go. Got the kill. Nice. See what he dropped for us? A large bag. Nice, nice, nice. Let's see what's in that reward rift. Let's quickly take out this mangler first, though. There we go. Oh my. Oh my god. <laughs> this is rough. Um, okay. Extra self-revive VR11 case. Got like two VR11s and I really don't use those. Um, self-revive might come in handy, but for now I'll just take the large bag just so I have that in our tombstone. Now, once you take out the Mega, make your way over to this building up ahead. That's over at, oh, let's, let's open our parachute. 
and not go down from the lag. <laughs> so that's over at E7 on the map. Now there's a staircase inside, or there's this ladder right here at the back of the building. Oh my god. <laughs> there we go. So just make your way up there however you please. If you have a Scorcher, of course, that's going to make things a lot easier. Now let's just quickly pick up that contract. There we go. Once you pick that up, it's going to ping the P&D device. So just parachute off this building and go over in this direction here into this foggy area. There shouldn't be too many zombies out here, so you should be fine. And just run up this hill, climb these two walls, and there we go. We made it to the diner. Now just get the PND device activated, and for this contract, there's really not much to it. Um, I'd recommend just training the zombies around. That seems to be the best option. Or you could go in this back room here. Let me actually demonstrate that. This back room here and just rip through all the zombies coming your way. But since we're lagging, I'm probably not going to do that. Also, if you pay attention to the analysis progress bar, it goes up really fast when you're in this area. And if you hop out, it goes down super slow. So if it gets too crowded, there's nothing wrong with hopping out for a second and then coming back in. You'll still progress with the contract. And uh, yeah, just don't take any unnecessary risks like I did. I actually ended up going down. But it's all good, it's all good. We don't have any self-revives left, so we'll have to play it safe. But we'll be fine, we'll be fine. So yeah, I'll see you guys once I'm done with the contract. And there we go, contract complete. Now once you finish that, most of the zombies are gonna die. Let's see what we got off that. Ooh, Mega Foldings looks pretty nice. I think I have one extra though, and the Pack 2 Crystal I do not need. But I could throw that on the Scorcher. There we go. Now, once you complete the Outlast contract, you want to make your way over to the mall. That's I-6 on the map, right up there. Now, if you don't have a Scorcher, there's a staircase inside the mall, which brings you to the roof. Then you can just do a bit of parkour and make your way up here, or you can take the parking garage. There's also an Ether tier in this building, I believe, and over here. So uh, yeah, just get up here however you please, pick up the contract, and then start running west immediately. As you can see up ahead, the extractors just landed. Now, uh, I could actually just quickly use our Scorcher here because we'll probably miss the jump <laughs> due to all the lag. But basically, I just like to make my way over to this rooftop here, like so. There we go. Now, once you're up here, you can throw a Casimir down on the street and that's going to land back by the cars and pull in all the zombies. But more importantly, it's going to let us disable the extractor. Now, once you disable that, open up your bag and equip the extra Casimir while running towards the next extractor. Like so. There we go. Then just throw a Casimir at that wall back there. It's going to pull in all the zombies. Once again, you can just disable the extractor. Definitely an easy contract. The Casimirs do all the work for you. Start running towards the third and final extractor. Climb on this wall and then throw another Casimir right at the ground there. Nice, and oh no, it teleported us. It's all good, it's all good. Uh, let's equip the extra Casimir real quick. There we go. Might have to end up throwing it. Yeah, let's throw that. Ugh. Let's quickly play it up. There we go. All right, now we can disable this one. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. All right, disable that as well. Got insta-kill. Let's check our reward rift. And we got a Elder Sigil. Let's go. That's exactly what I needed, man. Perfect. All right. So let's try to make it out of here without going down. There we go. Perfect. We don't need an extra self revive anyways, because for those of you who don't know, I always down myself at the end of every game just so I can keep all this juicy loot in my tombstone stash. So basically, we just need two more schematics to have a full large bag. Got 91,000 essence as well. So setting up for the next game is going to be super easy. Um, hopefully the lag finishes by tonight. I mean, like I said, this is the third time I tried to record this video. It's just been rough, but then I thought to myself, you know, can't let you boys down. Gotta hit you with that daily upload, even if it involves a bit of lag, <laughs> you know? So yeah, thank you all for watching this video. Thank you again for the suggestion, man. The M13B is just insane. The fact that it carried us through this whole match with all this lag speaks for itself and you guys saw we were ripping through all the bosses it's great for groups of zombies just overall a really nice gun so i would definitely recommend this thing my rating for it's gonna be a 9.5 on 10 
Um, yeah, if you guys have any other suggestions for weapons you'd like to see me check out, then be sure to drop a comment below. Thank you all for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then be sure to hit that like button. It really helps out. Comment with any suggestions for future videos. And don't forget to subscribe to share your support to the channel. I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever in the world you are. And as always, goodbye.